we started working together uh, because after several pints, after several pints, I asked the question, if you uh, attach a ruler to the moon and push it, then uh, what's the physics that prevents you from knowing instantly that it's attached to the moon? It's gone very dark, hasn't it, We're in a tunnel? Maybe, maybe Jeff has, has, has understood so much about the universe, his head has actually collapsed <laughs> into a black hole. But it's, it's important, information weighs something, because information's a physical thing. How many pints of bitter is, is, is the universe? Does the universe weigh the same as? So the mass of the universe is five times ten to the fifty-four pints of bitter mm. that we calculated that. And I'm wrong most of the time when I'm doing physics. So I'm, I'm trying to calculate things, and usually I calculate it wrong, right? But the point is, then you get somebody else to, you know, if you're collaborating with somebody, they, they, or you can figure out yourself. You've, just done, you've done it wrong. You've not done it right. You have to go back and do it again. That's so where all the physicists go. They they go to the place where they're wrong. It's yeah. different to most of the. Imagine if politicians did that. Imagine if they were delighted to be shown to be wrong. Mm. We would live in a much better yeah. world. It's like stress testing your understanding. Yeah. by getting people to challenge you, you all the time yeah. and that, that's the way to make progress that one of the skills you, you acquire through doing science is it's like a bullshit detector kit mm. that's what science mm. is really yeah. and the more you do it the more yeah. tuned your detectors get and you need that i mean it's very topical at the moment in our so-called post-fact society or whatever it is but really what you're saying is there's so much information out there and people are not uh, many people are not equipped to, to uh, look at that information and try and sort out the nonsense from the stuff that's more plausible. The observable universe with two trillion galaxies um, was once contained in a region of space uh, smaller than an atom, significantly smaller than an atom. Uh, you, can't, you can't do physics to music. Yes, can you? I don't think. Yeah, I, I, I don't. Yeah. What, 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 what would it focus. be if it, if it would be anything? It would be Joy Division or something like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, because the cover of the book is designed by Peter Saville. Yeah. And Peter Saville, of course, is most famous for designing Unknown Pleasures. The book is a celebration of the universe and uh, the joy involved in figuring things out for yourself. It's for sale in all good bookshops or online. Very reasonable price.